Well, the term role model is often bandied around far too often when it comes to the sporting field. However, my next guest certainly fits that particular terminology, role model, because he is both on the field and off the field. He's none other than the Canberra Raiders co-captain, their point-scoring wizard, Jared Croker. Well, Jared Croker, great to catch up with you. Finally, the COVID restrictions have been eased and you can enjoy a night out at the Club and Angle Harness Racing. Yeah, it's, it's been a while, mate. Um, like you said, the COVID restrictions and everything else going on. It's uh, been a while since I've been down here, but it's nice to get down here. The weather's just turned it on lately, but uh, a little bit later, but um, other than that, it's been a really good night, mate. Joe, before we talk about your wonderful career with the Canberra Raiders, your involvement with harness racing, how did that all come about? Uh, yeah, through Brad Hewitt, um, obviously both growing up in Goulburn and um, a couple of mates uh, growing up there together and uh, through family connections and mates and, and all that sort of stuff. We started um, probably 10 years ago now and uh, jumped on one horse and just a bit of a snowball effect from there and uh, the rest is history. We've, we've had a really good um, really good partnership and, and really enjoyed enjoyed what we've done with the harnesses and uh, I'm looking forward to going forward. And Joe, you've also managed to coax a lot of your Canberra Raiders teammates into some of the ownership. Yeah, I have. I've had a few of the boys come and go. Um, Sammy Williams is probably the mainstay. He stayed here for a while and he's got a few horses with us. Um, we've had obviously the coach involved and um, a few others as well. It's it's uh, been a bit of a journey. We've we've had people come and go, like I said, but um, yeah, probably myself and Sammy Wounds. We've had a few over the last ten years. Uh, still got a couple together now, and um, hopefully we can get a few good ones. That's certainly a nice way to relieve yourself of all that pressure of being involved in the day-to-day -day process of what is a very hectic full-time job now with the Canberra Raiders. Yeah, it is. It's a bit of a relief. It's it's, um, it's good to get away. It's a bit like you know going to play golf or. Uh, anything else like that, you sort of want to get away from your what you do for, for everyday living and a um, bit of a hobby and um, something that some we can do away from footy. It's something I've always been involved in, something I've always enjoyed and uh, like I said, it's nice to get down here tonight. I've been here for a long time, so it's good to get down here. Um, hopefully we can get back in, in the near future. 2009, you joined the Canberra Raiders, no doubt, fulfilling a boyhood dream? Yeah, seems like a long time ago now. Um, going into, I think, 14th year, so it's um, yeah, it's been awesome. Um, I've had a, had a long career, obviously, with the Raiders, and um, you know, been pretty lucky last, you know, by the last few years with injuries. So, uh, getting back into it, you know, I'm at the age now where I'm just enjoying my footy and enjoying my training, and um, we can see what we can get, see what we can do with the with the best of what we got. Running third currently on the all-time point scoring list, 2,238 points. Cam Smith, 2,786. No doubt you'll be able to peg back some of those points over the coming season. I'd like to. Um, I don't know how, how close I'll get to Cam. He's, he's a fair way in front. and um, If I can manage to play it the last couple of years of my contract, I will um, I might get close. But uh, like I said, it's been a long and uh, long and tough career, so we'll, we'll see how we go. But, I, I'd, uh, you know, just to be named... Um, or just to be up there with, with blokes like Cameron Smith, it's, it's, a, it's a massive achievement in, in itself. So um, wherever I finish, I'll be extremely satisfied with and, and we'll see how we go. Jerry, you managed to overcome a serious shoulder injury. Then you've had surgery on your knee, stem cell surgery. Everything A-OK -okay now? Getting there, yeah. It's been pretty good. I've had a couple of trial games and um, the knee feels pretty good. It's um, sad its moments. I've had, had uh, a few... Um, probably the last 18 months where the, the knee's sort of uh, been a bit tough and yeah, like I said, 14, 15 years, it's, uh, yeah, it takes it out of you. So the, the knee's, it's going good. It's going a lot better than I thought. Um, like I said, it's, hopefully we can get through it all and a couple of years left and we can just um, push forward and, and see how we go. No doubt the frustration rises to the top when you have these injuries and you know that the Canberra Raiders have always just been on the verge of breaking into the big time as far as the grand final is concerned. It must be just frustrating knowing you just can't get out there. Yeah, it is. Um, I think last year was disappointing. The year before, we, oh, the two years before, we played in the grand final and then got within one game of the grand final and let ourselves down last year. So we know our standards as a club. Um, we want to play finals football. We believe we're a top top six, top four team at our best. Um, at our best, we can we can win the premiership. So that's the confidence we've got going into the season and, and we can't go in there, you know, any any none the wiser. Um, like I said, it's it's been a, been a good pre-season. Um, we've got plenty of depth in our squad, so we're looking forward to getting into it in a couple of weeks. And going by the trials, Jared, it would appear that the Canberra Raiders squad is coming together nicely. Yeah, it is. Like I said, we've had a, we've had a good pre-season. Um, every, every club does. We all train hard. Everyone works hard, but um, I think after the 
the couple of trial games we've had and, and the players we've missed in those trial games. Um, you know, we've got a lot of depth in our squad and depth's what, depth's what win your premierships and um, you know, I believe we've got great depth in our squad. So we need to start well. We've got a, we've got a home game um, at Canberra Stadium in a couple of weeks and we need to start that and win, win, win that and win it well and um, go from there. Looks to be a very evenly graded competition. Of course, Penrith East have been knocked about a bit by transfers, retirements, Melbourne Storm in a similar boat. So a lot of the top clubs now seem to be evened out. Uh, yes and no. Um, I haven't looked too much into that. No one really does. Um, East are always strong. Penrith are the defending premiers and Melbourne are Melbourne. So there's, you know, we haven't looked too much into that, mate. They're all good teams. They're all great squads. and They've all been, they've all been good teams for a long time now. So... We don't have to worry about them. Uh, we've got to worry about ourselves. We, Like I said, we let ourselves down last year by uh, not playing finals football um, after the, the couple of previous seasons we had. So um, we're not too worried about them. We're more worried about ourselves and, and where we think we can be. And how's fatherhood going 18 months ago? His son, Rory? He's going well. Um, he loves the horses too. He's He's been down to the stables with Brad. He's sat in the gig with, um, with Brad and, and um, Marie's taken him and um, Shane him around the stables and he absolutely loves it. He loves the horses every time they're on TV or he wants to get the phone and get the horses going and get the go call going. So, no, he, he's great, mate. Um, fatherhood's good. Um, family's all well, which is which is the most important thing in life. Well, Jared, seeing he loves the horses so much, on behalf of Club and Angle, we've got a horse for Rory. Just don't let Brad put him into work. And a couple of caps for you, the Miracle Mile one, in the Canberra Radix colours, by the way, and another Miracle Mile Cup there. We hope you uh, enjoy wearing those. And thank you very much for giving up your time here, having a night out, relaxing with your friends, but you've been kind enough to come down and join us. We appreciate it. No worries. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me.